And good morning YouTube. So I am now done with another week of pediatrics. But before I get to this video, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved. And that you are wonderfully and beautifully created. And that you are capable of more than you could ever imagine. I'm going to be talking about my week in the PICU. And then tell you about something pretty awesome that happened yesterday. So make sure you stick around to hear about it. Okay, so in the vlog, I was going to share a story with you guys, something that happened to Phoebe and I yesterday, but it ended up being about a 10 to 13 minute video, and I do not want to take too much of your guys' time in the vlog, so I'll make sure to post that video in a different video, but please, please, please check it out, because it was just incredible to experience God yesterday, so I hope that you guys will check out that video. So for now, I am going to continue drinking my pre-workout because I was drinking it in the last video but I didn't get to finish it so I'm going to drink this I'm going to head to the gym I have I have biceps triceps and abs today so I'll make sure to show you guys some clips from that Phoebe and I are still continuing on on our summer shred honestly we haven't made too much progress in it but we are running a lot we're working out a lot and eating a lot but we need to try to figure out where our maintenance is right now but it's been kind of hard and I've been meaning to post up the summer shred workout and our diet schedule and all of that but I'm way behind so sorry about that. Phoebe and I had our huge clinical skills exam last week so with some of the videos that I've been wanting to make they've just been kind of put on hold so sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and after the workout I have a little bit of a surprise that I'm going to do for Phoebe so I hope you guys enjoy that and then to end the vlog today I'll give you guys the pick you kind of the overview of the PICU and what my week was like. Right, but for now, let's go get that workout in. Alright guys, so right now I am headed to the store. So Phoebe's at work, she's been on call all day. And so something about Phoebe's family is that they absolutely love to celebrate every holiday to like the fullest extent. So like Phoebe's mom would have like giant Easter baskets and tons of candy and stuff like that for Phoebe on Easter. And so since we're not going to get to go home this weekend, I want to make Easter special for Phoebe as well. And yes, Easter does not need anything else to make it more special. But I want to make it feel like Phoebe was, be like she was at home. And so what I'm going to do now is go to the store and pick up some stuff to surprise her for when she gets off call tonight. So I hope she enjoys it. I'm not sure if she will or not because it won't be exactly the same as what her mom does. But hopefully my little twist to things will spice it up. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Okay, so I am now pulling up to the grocery store. I'm going to run in there really quick, run out really quick, and then kind of show you guys what I'm doing for the surprise. So I know it is not much, but this is what I got for Phoebe. So I got her peeps, two different colors. I heard this giant chocolate bunny. It's pretty large. Oh, 
these are not for her these are actually mine so my grandmother before she passed away like the whole time we were growing up she'd always bring us these Italian ices and I've never really seen them before and I saw them at the store so I had to grab them um, but then I got her these marshmallow eggs oh this guy's super cute Look at a little bunny and then these index cards that's what I'm gonna write notes on and then eggs to put around the house she loves sugar cookies, so there's two bunny sugar cookies, this Easter basket, and then this. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write on these index cards, fold them up in a little square, put them in the Easter eggs with some chocolate. Let me grab the chocolate real quick. And some Dove chocolate, which is also her favorite. She loves, loves, loves Dove dark chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to have to get busy writing on these index cards now. Ooh, I need to clear off the desk. It's you and me The stars and moon will keep us company They'll watch over us as we fall Alright guys, so now that I have her Easter basket set up I could tell you guys a little bit about my pick you rotation So there's the eggs that I'm going to be laying out for her there whenever she gets home But I still have a few hours, so now to tell you guys about my PICU rotation. All right, so pretty much at the PICU, which is the pediatric ICU. So these are kids that are usually very, very sick. Yeah, it is terribly sad that a lot of these kids, they come in in a very, very, very distressed state. But one of the great things about it is that you know that every day that when you get there, you have great, great purpose that is that you get to go in there and be a light to their day and so how our days would start off is that at 7 30 we'd have morning sign outs so pretty much what that means is that the night team that has been there all night long would sign out and kind of give us updates on each of the patients or give us any new admissions that they had over the night Okay, and so sign out would be about 7.30 to 8.30, and then from 8.30 till about 10 o'clock, that's when we would, um, as a team, we'd go around on all the patients. So with the residents, we would see the patients, but then after that, we would get to go see them on our on our own. So we'd get to do uh, history and physical on them and get to know the children. And if their parents were there, get to know the parents as well. And so that would be probably my favorite part of the day is because that's when I would get to spend time with them, where I'd get to bond with them and just really get to know them and how they were doing and, you know, get to play with them and just brighten their day a little bit. So some of the kids were super sick, but then even just showing them a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, you know, in this hospital that's probably very uncomfortable it just lights their day up and that was so incredible so that would be till about 10 o'clock and then at 10 o'clock an attending would come and the attending that we had was pretty intense he loved to pimp students okay so for those of you that do not know pimp I didn't really know what that meant either but it means put in my place so p-i-m-p -P is put in my place so they're gonna ask you questions that they kind of expect you not to know so that they could put you in your place alright so he loves to pimp loves to ask tons of questions but with that you get to learn a ton and so that was actually a really great part of the experience as well is because as we're rounding on this patients this attending is constantly pimping you and making sure you know everything you need to know about each disease and what's so cool about that is that makes you a better doctor so that you can better treat your patients in the future and so that you're more knowledgeable about each of the diseases so honestly even though he was a tough attending I really enjoyed it and so that would go from about 10 to 12 and then at 12 they let us go for lunch and at this hospital they give us six bucks a day for lunch super cool none of the other hospitals have done that so far and then after that we uh, some days we'd go to the sim lab and so in the sim lab what we do is we have these fake babies like simulation babies and what they would do is be in respiratory distress where they were breathing very heavily that their oxygen levels in their body was going really down and we'd have to learn how to intubate them and so that was a pretty cool and great experience as well so if that were ever in that case we we know how to manage an airway, um, just like do quick man management of an airway, and then also advanced ways to manage the airway. And everything that I'm talking about, I'll make sure to include links below so that you guys can kind of read up on it and learn more about it. Something that I saw in the PICU that I wanted to talk about was a child that had a heart defect. So this child was born premature, 
and with that he had a lot of a lot of problems and so there's a whole list of problems that you could have from prematurity and a lot of them have to do with respiratory distress so this patient did have respiratory distress but he also had cardiac problems and one of the cardiac problems that he had is something called an atrial septal defect and with this what happens is blood the way it circulates in your body is it's supposed to go to the right heart in the lungs and then after it gets through the lungs and gets oxygenated then it goes to the left heart and from the left heart it goes all throughout your body you know all the way to your fingertips so your heart is so strong it pumps blood all throughout your body the atrial septum separates the right and left atrium of the heart and an atrial septal defect describes where there's some opening in a baby's heart between these two upper chambers an atrial septal defect, or ASD, describes a condition where in some way the septum between the right and left atrium doesn't close up all the way and remains open even after birth. About 90% of ASD cases are due to the ostium secundum. In other words, the septum secundum doesn't fuse with the septum primum, and therefore the foramen ovale doesn't close quite right. This actually accounts for about 10-15% to of all congenital heart defects and is the most common congenital heart defect in adults. 10% of ASD cases are due to the ostium primum, where the first opening, or ostium primum, doesn't make it all the way down, again leaving an opening between the right and left atria. This primum type of congenital defect is found in around 25% of patients with Down syndrome. Atrial septal defects, in general, are also commonly associated with fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, so there's this opening in the septum. Now what? Got it. Okay, so that's pretty much the update on my PICU rotation. So next week I'll be in the NICU, and the NICU is neonatal ICU. So these are going to be even littler babies. They're going to be so small. So this will be a pretty crazy experience. So I'm kind of excited to see these just absolutely tiny gifts from God and see how we can help them out. And then on top of that, I'm also going to get to do some hematology oncology, some cardiology, some different, I'm also going to get to do some different clinical experience as well. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So next week will be the nursery and different types of outpatient clinics. And then my last week is in the emergency department. Oh wait, actually I lied to you guys, that's in two weeks. My next week, next week I'll be on a study week. So hopefully I can do a video that you guys have been asking me to do and that's just a study with me video. So I'll try to get that uploaded next week. All right guys, so I hope you guys liked the recap from my last week in the PICU and I hope you liked the surprise from Phoebe. I love you guys greatly. I hope you enjoy the rest of the clips and then so I'll probably just try to video a little bit while I'm surprising Phoebe and then we're gonna go off to dinner. So I probably will not be vlogging anymore, more except for to show you guys a little bit of me surprising Phoebe. Okay guys, so Phoebe told me she would be home in 20 minutes. So I wanted to show you guys the surprise really quick. I'm gonna see if she's texted me since. Okay, so she said she'd be here in 20 minutes, but I want to show you guys this surprise really quick. So, this is the front door to our house. She's going to come in. Fall asleep, and I will hold you close. And then this one in there tells her to get ready for our date tonight. And then I will be in here with her Easter basket and her black dress. So I hope she likes the surprise. So I have to get the rest of the stuff set up and then we will go on our date tonight. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. If you're just not checking out my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I would love, love, love to hear your comments and be able to help you guys in any way I can. Okay, remember, you guys are greatly greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and capable of more than you could ever imagine all right guys keep chasing your dreams with endless love and relentless passion Tommy, Marty. so lay your head down on the pillow okay? Hi, Close your eyes.
close your eyes and feel my warm embrace. Hi, it's so cute. I was not